camera in the pews, just be aware of the people around you, okay? Because a lot of times you have to bring it up here and you might be blocking someone, but I don't think we're gonna have that issue uh, tonight. Uh, if you forgot to bring a camera, um, I believe our mass media is filming this uh, musical. So I believe uh, five or 10 minutes, you might need to wait uh, a little bit, but if you do, because uh, they will have a DVD ready. Uh, if you have $20, uh, you can have one. If not, you can always order one from the front office. Uh, let me check with the fifth grade teachers. Where are we picking them up afterwards? Okay, Roman's calf, that's just right below us, but I'll direct you later. Um, looks like they're ready, but we would like to start off with a word of prayer. So I'd like to introduce Reverend Clifford Fong, Associate Pastor of our church, to uh, start us off. Reverend Fong. Okay, Principal Wong. Okay, how many have I've never seen before? I, you've never seen me? I've never seen you? Come on, you guys. Anybody, I haven't, except for the, yeah. So, you know who I am, right? So, we're not going to sing Feliz Navidad today or anything like that. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, what's the name of the musical they're, they're singing tonight? Life song, and what does that mean? Yeah, let's read it together, okay? We all can read, all right? Let's read it together. Life song, a fun kids musical about leading like Jesus, okay? They said it's sort of like Survivor or stuff like that. But there's, you know, we, we like to have a lot of fun here at Cornerstone Academy and Cornerstone Church. And, but you know, you, we usually try to have meaning behind everything, okay? So basically, life is not always easy. We're all going to run into bumps in the road, okay? Whether it's health issues or, or people having fights or your kids can't study or you're gonna get laid off at work or your mother-in-law or your father-in-law is this or your laoji, your landlord is giving you trouble or you don't have enough money for rent or you're worried about paying the college bills, you know, 10 years from now. I mean, your kids are only in fifth grade. They're not in college yet, okay? But there's so many things that we worry about that we're concerned about, okay? And the idea of this musical is that who's leading you? Whose advice are you taking, okay? Are you gonna invest in your money and in some, some, some investment firm and then they're gonna run off with all your money and you know, the mark is gonna fall or something like that? Or some of your, your mother, your mother or your father is, uh, you know, has health issues or we just had a, a mother, just, uh, we just had a, a lady who works at uh, State Farm Insurance, okay? And her father fell, he, was, he, he got on the wrong bus and then he got off and he fell down after he got off the bus and he bumped his head and he's been in the hospital for the last four days. Okay, he just went home on Wednesday, all right? So those things happen. And the idea is that who's giving you advice? All right, who's helping you in making your decisions, okay? And if you've been here for a while, you know that we believe in God and we say, turn to God. God will help you through whatever difficulties you're going through, okay? We're all gonna go through difficulties sometimes. So that's what this musical is about, okay? Learning to lead like Jesus, okay? So if you ever need any help, you need some advice, talk to your teachers, talk to Principal Wong, talk to me on the church side, okay? And we'll be glad to guide you in the right way uh, that God has the best plan for us. In fact, in the, we have Sunday school on Sundays and we're studying the book of Proverbs, okay? The godly wisdom, okay? So you're welcome to come on Sundays. Uh, to, we have a Sunday school class in English. We have Mandarin worship. We have Cantonese worship. And we have our regular worship at 1115 right here. All right. And you can see Reverend Lau. You, you guys know Reverend Lau. All right. OK. So any questions? Good. Let's start. Let's pray. All right. Let's start in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this afternoon. Oh, sorry. Thank you for this evening that we're here, and we thank you that uh, the children, uh, the fifth graders are going to sing, and they've been working hard, and have a wonderful message that is, is entertaining, and it's biblical, too. It's biblical truth. So, Father, help us to learn more about you, and what a wonderful God you are. Thank you for this musical. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Fong. Okay, see, they're ready. They look, they look good. All right, so without any further ado, I'd like to present to you the fifth grade musical, Life Song.
Attention, attention all campers. Hey everybody, listen up. Welcome to Camp Life Song, the camp where you'll really learn how to live. It appears that all of you have arrived. You will find a list of all the campers. Please take a few minutes to meet each other. Well, here's the list. Let's see who's here. Abby. That's me. Brady. Here. Kat. Present. Dean Allen. My mom is the only person in the whole world that calls me <coughs> Dean Allen. To everyone else, I'm just Dean. One more person left. There's one more person who's supposed to be someone named Danny. Don't see anyone else around. What in the world? <laughs> what are you doing in there? I decided it'd be the easiest way to get here. No rowing or swimming for me. The way is did all the work. Cool. Attention, attention all campers. Each of you has been chosen for a special reason. You have been invited here because you have leadership abilities. While you are here, you will be observed at all times to see which of you turns out to be the greatest leader of all. Remember, you are being tested, so do your best. Your first test begins now. In the small crate marked, do not open until told to. You will find two tents. You must work together to set up the tents and your campsite. Open the crate now. What? I thought we were here to have fun. This is like going to school. A test? Seriously? <sighs> you mean I spent all that time cooped up in a crate for a test? Come on, guys. This is great. A contest, and I'm going to win. Let's open that crate and get started. Well, I hope there's going to be spelling and grammar. I'm great at that. Sounds like it'd be interesting. Maybe we'll learn something about ourselves and each other. We have to sleep somewhere tonight. Come on, guys. Let's do this together. Well, okay. I got nothing better to do anyway. I wanted to do nothing, but all right. As long as I get the first choice of sleeping spots. Just so you know, I'm very sensitive.
day when I work out. Well, I do not want to work out. Resting is the only workout for me. Yeah, if I wanted to work, I would have just stayed home with my parents. But don't you feel good after putting in that work? And now we've got our roof overhead tonight. Great work, guys. I didn't pass the test with flying colors. What do you mean, we? Whoever they are, they're only picking one winner. And I'm sure that winner is me. I was the most outstanding worker today. Great job opening up the directions and reading them. If this is a contest, I am out. I just lost to being the most popular girl last year at school. I am not going through that again. I can't believe this. Where's your competitive spirit? Life is all about winning. You can't give up the fight without even starting. Well, unless you're a loser. Are you calling me a loser? Okay, everybody, calm down. No one is a loser here. Remember, we were all told we have special leadership abilities. That's something to be happy about. Attention, attention all campers. The results of your first test have been noted. Huh? Well, maybe we can have some downtime now. Your second test begins now. <laughs> A treasure has been buried on the island. Discovering it is very important. It is your dinner for tonight. There are shovels in your equipment crate, along with clues about where to find this treasure. Remember, you are being observed to see who will lead in this task. That is all. You're kidding me. Now we have to work to eat. Can they get us to come here and then not feed us? Don't worry. Just listen to me and we'll find our dinner in no time. Listen to you. Who made you group boss? This should be good. Look, guys, I found the shovels and the clues. Would someone like to read them out loud to us? I am sure if we were together, we can find our dinner in no time. If dinner's what you want to eat, piping hot a tasty treat. Five paces north, then take four west. Take turns digging and you'll pass this test.
for me anymore. Attention, attention all campers. The results of your second leadership test are in. Can we shut that thing down? Maybe now is a good time to get to learn about each other. That would be a great help if we want to work as a team. In case you have forgotten, this is a contest. Every man or woman for himself. That might be their intention, but we don't have to play that way. I'll start. My name is Brady. I love my mom, dad, and two sisters. I'm a Christian, and I've got some really cool friends at church. They've helped me a lot this year. My dad lost his job a while back. He finally got a new one that requires him to work and live in another city. We only get to see him on weekends, but I'm grateful for that. Well, my dream is to be president of the U.S. The next American Idol? <laughs> well, I'm still running for America's next top model. <laughs> okay, I guess you can see I want to be a comedian when I grow up. When my mom's especially mad at me, I'll make funny faces and she'll start to crack up. And she'll forget what she was so mad about and stop yelling at me and my two brothers. Well, at least for a while. Well, I'm Kat, and known as a brain at my school. My parents expect me to be the perfect student with the perfect grades. They won't tolerate anything else. When I bring home the perfect report card or another A, they're so happy that they stop fighting. Well, as long as I am the perfect student with the perfect grades, I guess they won't split up. Well, I am Dean, and at school, I am the junk. I play football, baseball, basketball, and everything else my dad did not get to do when he was a kid. I know he wants me to have the experiences that he never did, but sometimes I wish I could talk with him, then go to another practice to see how much faster I can run, how much longer I can throw, or how much higher I can jump. Oh, I go to church and belong to a kid's group like Brady. I'm Abby. I think I was named after some lady in the Bible. I'm a Christian, too. My mom was sick with cancer. I didn't want to leave her, but my dad said this would be good for me. I'm a PK, which stands for Preacher's Kid. Everyone expects a lot from me. I guess that's why I'm so competitive. I don't know. My name is Lena. I couldn't begin to tell you why I was invited here. I'm not the funniest, nor the prettiest, nor the smartest, nor the best athlete. In fact, I am quite ordinary, but well, I am having fun here. Attention, attention all campers. The lights will go out in five minutes. Activities will resume at 7 a.m. That is all. Hey, Abby, I'm sorry about your mom. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Thanks, Lena. That means a lot. Hey, I know it's a bummer to get yelled at all the time. My coaches do it, and it's no fun. Thanks. When there's nowhere else to turn All your bridges have been burned Feels like you've hit rock bottom Don't, don't give up It's not the end Open 
Attention, attention all campers. Campers, your food supplies will arrive soon. For your next test, choose one camper to hike down to find the food supplies for the day. This person is also responsible for assigning jobs and dividing the food fairly. So choose the person wisely. Well, that's the most ridiculous test ever. We're being tested to see who is the best leader here by who we choose as the best leader. Well, that's an easy choice. I'm the most fit of anybody here. Uh, I don't think so. Well, I'm the best candidate since I'm the smartest here. Why don't we talk about the characteristics a good leader should have? Then we can see who can take on the responsibilities. To be honest, I don't think some of you here will be fair with me. Really? What has anybody done to make you not trust them? Dad is the only one who played a trick on us all morning. No offense, but I don't trust church kids. Wow, that's harsh. I guess you're talking about Brady, Abby, and me since we're the ones that go to church. Why would you think we'd be unfair? Let's just say for a place where you talk about love, I didn't feel that at all at church. I was new and people stared at me and made me feel as if I didn't belong there. Sorry about that, Lena. Well, that happens at school too, but you just don't expect that in a church. No, it shouldn't have happened in a church.
want to apologize for that. Thanks for reminding us to be friends with everyone, not just our friends. Well, we still need to choose someone to get the food. We need someone strong. Someone smart. Someone fair. I will trust anyone in this crew who really wants to do it and feels called by God to go find our food supplies. I should go. I want to make up for yesterday when I was against this whole thing. I am strong and I am determined since I am hungry. I will find that food! You plan to bring some back for us? Let's clean up the place and tie things down. It looks like it might rain later. Let's go find some logs so we can sit and eat. That's a great idea. Attention, attention all campers. A storm is approaching. Take shelter immediately and do not leave the campsite. What about Dean? He's already gone to get the food supply. Attention, attention all campers. I repeat, take shelter immediately and do not leave the campsite. Are you listening? Dean is not here. Brady, this isn't good. What if Dean can't get back? What should we do? Should we go after him? I think we should stay here. Whoever's being in there, those speakers should know more about the weather than we do. The best thing is to pray and hope that God will keep Dean safe. Father in heaven, we need your help. Please keep our friend Dean safe from the storm. Help Dean to realize he needs to get back here quickly. Keep us all safe. Thanks for all the friends who are here and care for me. And thank you, Father, that you love us. We trust you to take care of us. is apologize for saying that I'm better than him. I don't know why I do that. I know God doesn't want me to be like that. We all tend to think we're greater than we are, Abby. Yeah, but I want to do better.
scared of storms. Me too. Brady, what should we do? Let's sing as loud as we can. The Bible says God is there when his people praise him. When we sing to him, we will feel his presence. What should we sing? Let's sing about people who trusted God in the Bible, even though it seemed like everything was against them. Praise the storm away. (coughs) 
I'm back. We were so worried about you. We prayed that God would keep you safe, and he did. Yes, yes he did, and he gave us all this food. Anyone starving? Can I speak to you, Brady? Sure, what's up? I'm not sure. When I was out there all alone, I was scared. That's when I came face to face. I was trying with something I was trying not to think about. What's that? Well, I go to church all the time. My whole family goes, but I don't seem to know Jesus. Not the way you seem to. So in the middle of the storm, I promised that if I got back here safely, I'd talk to you. So can you tell me about Jesus? Sure, Dean.
Attention, attention all campers. Get back, Mr. E-Voice. Glad you can make it. Is everyone all there? Do you need assistance? We're great. We have food in our tummies and we're all warm and safe. Excellent. Your test has ended. We are now compiling the results and will announce in a few minutes who has shown they are the real leader in this group. Yeah, we'll wait for you to tell us what makes a great leader. Why don't we tell you what makes a great leader? The perfect leader was the one who came down from his heavenly dwelling and took on the flesh of man to save men from eternal death. I am known as the strong and athletic jock at school, but I would not have enough strength to leave heaven and save others that do not love me or know me. Because of the evil thoughts and deeds of men, all men deserve to be separated from his creator and receive the punishment of death. I should not have boasted to Dean about how much better I was than him. Yet God in his infinite goodness provided a way for men to be in his presence for all eternity. Even though at school, I am the brain, but not even my intelligence can make me better than Jesus. He came down as Jesus, the Son of God, and died on the cross. Three days later, he was raised from the tomb and conquered death so that we might live. I am known as a comedian at school. I can bring laughter, but the love and sacrifice of Jesus brings a real joy that I can never give. The love of, the love of Jesus is so great and powerful that it not only gives us eternal life, which is us to be the leader we need to be. In Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 22, it says, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things. But... By making peace through his bloodshed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior. But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. A leader encourages others when they are down, just like when Lena comforted Abby. A leader inspires other people to do their best, the way Brady encouraged the kids to do their best and stick together. A leader keeps a level head in bad times, just like how Dean didn't panic when he was out in the storm. A leader keeps people focused on what they can do to make things better, just like when Brady encouraged the kids to sing. A leader tries to love the way Jesus does, the way we are all learning to do a little more every day. Did you get that? A leader is one who follows Jesus. We don't have to be the smartest, the most popular, the funniest, the greatest, or the strongest. A leader is humble enough to love Jesus and others and serve them. That's what makes a life that truly seems for Jesus. Is your life so all about <clears throat> the one who loves you, serves you, and needs you? Let it be about Jesus, our Lord and Savior.